Hello everyone, today I want to show you a new addition to the Swift language, released with Swift 5.2 and Xcode 11.4. Swift, thanks to having labels on the function parameters, it allows you to easily add default arguments to those parameters. This gives a lot of flexibility on the using side because you can pick if you want to pass a parameter or not and it allows us to simplify APIs that otherwise would be a little cumbersome to use in some scenarios. Over the years, Swift has been adding this default argument functionality to some places where it didn't have it before. For example, in enums with associated values. You can put a default argument here and then when you create the enum, you can just ignore that argument and it still works. The associated value has the default argument that you pass here. One feature of the language that was missing this functionality of default arguments were subscripts. So let's take a look at how this can be used today. Let's introduce an enum with a list of the weekdays and a simple struct that wraps an array of strings to make it store a diet for the week. Let's create a diet here and of course I'm not recommending a diet like this, it's just an example, but the important thing here is that we are passing a type of food for each day of the week, order starting from Monday, because that's when the week starts, obviously. Now, it would be nice if we could get the diet for that day just by accessing a subscript with the weekday parameter. So we can introduce this subscript, and now this part compiles, but we of course need to implement the subscript. To do it, we can get the index, getting the raw value from the weekday, and then we can return food at that index. And we get the Monday, we get apple. But of course, what happens if we ask for Sunday? Well, for Sunday, we didn't specify any food, so the indexing of the array crashes with an index out of bounds. To do this, we can of course check that the index is part of the array and otherwise return something. But what can we return that is reasonable for the user? Of course we could use an optional, but let's instead offer a default option that the user can pass in. Now we can pass a default argument here, but of course we don't want to do that when it's not necessary. So up until now there was no alternative than that, but now we can tell this subscript argument that there is a default value that the user will be happy with. So now we can provide this value, of course we need to use it here. And when we run this code, as you can see, by default, the default value that it's passed into this argument is the free day, which is the one we specified here. The same way we do it with a function, a normal function, or even with the values of an enum. So we get the exact same functionality for subscripts. And of course, the good thing is that if on Saturday you want to eat something else because it's a very special day, you can just pass the argument as you want and it's going to be treated as a default when it's not there. So it all works as expected. So that's it for this short video. It's a really useful functionality that has been added to the language and that again, it makes the language more consistent with itself. If you learn how to pass default arguments into functions, you can also use it when you encounter enums with associated values and even subscript later. So everything is consistent and makes the language more approachable. If you learned something with this, please like the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.